These are in very high demand. These chassis have been around for a long time. They're used everywhere. It's small, like it just feels like you're driving a nice it's a 25 foot little motorhome, truck. essentially. Yeah. yeah, it's great. This coach is so well lit. It's beautiful, light interior, which we like. If you go on any of the forums, people love these things. Yeah. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV, and behind us we have one of the most popular in-demand motorhomes on the market. People absolutely go crazy for these. It's like a cult following. It's 2024 Leisure Travel Van. This is the Unity model, the Murphy Bed Lounge. It's MBL. Kind of, the MBL. <laughs> We're gonna take you on a full exterior and interior tour. We're gonna show you some of the real features, what makes this such a popular unit. So let's start right from the chassis it's on the mercedes-benz 3500 sprinter chassis diesel engine these chassis have been around for a long time they're used everywhere in europe for travel in the us and ambulances they're very well known we'll give you the specs a little bit later but this is the updated mercedes so it has a little bit more horsepower a little bit more torque now starting right on front full body paint you have the paint protection kind of on the bumper here again mercedes chassis so easily serviceable at mercedes dealers and you know when you start getting to something that's small like this and this is only 25 feet one inch so it's not a big giant motorhome you have smaller tires smaller tires equal cheaper to replace so these are continentals these are 215 85 16 so these are easily replaceable in most big box stores or if you order them online you can do that so continuing down the passenger side you have the leisure here of course the nice things about the b plus the c's so you have multiple access points so this would be your one point and if you just kind of quick look inside you see it has all the luxury of a mercedes-benz chassis which mj will show you a little bit more when we go inside you do have the fiberglass step to go in and then you see the the docking light right there. Again, the full body paint, the one piece cap. Now, Leisure does vacuum bonded walls. They do all this stuff in-house up in Canada. So it's very well made, guys. I, I believe the last time we looked was 24 months. Grisetti's down in Florida. They do have a couple of them in stock. Some of them are already sold, but they do have a couple of them, but they get them and they sell them right away. I don't know if the rep from Leisure is coming in. So just a disclaimer, some of these bays are locked. If the rep gets here before we're done, we'll show you on B-roll, but behind here is going to be a TV. So this will open up, you'll have a full TV out here. And then what's nice about this, on a lot of the C's you don't get, these are all locked also, but you do get a lot of good storage. And if you see, it's not, it's not just like that flat fiberglass, it's molded to the body. You see, everything is molded. Obviously more cost, more labor to do something like that. Even the door, you see it's molded. You have one step on here, heavy duty door. I don't know if you noticed it when you went inside, but the door is really well made, thick. And again, it fits just really, really well. You have all your frameless windows, carefree awning with LEDs on it. You have another docking light. And then continuing down on the passenger side, double outlets, GFCI protected, which is a really nice thing. You have your latch here for your outdoor table and that will get stored inside. Hopefully we can show you this large storage on here. Continuing down on the rear of the passenger side, these two bays are open. So let me show you how this works. So it doesn't only click, you hear, and then you, you actually turn it in. It kind of sucks it in. You can see how nice, look at that. The seam is just it's, perfect. Yeah, it's flat. Pulls it in and then you have locks for each, which is always nice. So look at this. The generator. There's your own end generator. And you can see how nice this is. You have the strut on here, sucks it in. And then we'll go one more bay in the back. It gives you a little bit of storage in here. Somebody left their bag in there, but this is really nice. We're gonna give you a little more specs as we continue this video, including the cargo carrying capacity. Moving to the rear, they do have the optional ladder. This is something we would definitely option in because you wanna get up on the roof. They use all Truma accessories. So as far as your furnace, your air conditioning, your water heater, it's all gonna be Truma, made in Germany, high quality. We have a Truma Aqua Go and it's been amazing. Is there like a It looks like it's supposed to be like now? a hurricane's gonna pass through. <laughs> so fiberglass cap in the back, there's no window. This is actually where your rear bath will be, which you'll see when you go inside. Something special about this floor plan is that at 25 feet, you think it's small. There is one slide in here, but you get a full bath, no wet bath. And a big bath. Big bath, and they utilize space multiple times. So it's gonna be your recliners, your table, 
your dining area, it's all gonna be in one space. So all LED lights in the back, rear view camera, LED turn signals, LED brake lights. Now, going down on the driver's side, again, this is the large storage where you would keep your table, a lot of storage in here. Your first bay, starting from the rear on the driver's side, is going to be your wet bay. Now you see you have your outdoor shower, all your hookups, all your uh, valves and everything, your, your hole for your gray and your black, your propane fill up, and then you have this does this is optioned in with the macerator which is pretty nice there is your truma aqua go here's the exhaust for your truma heating system here is your hookups for your 30 amp look at the slide guys now again most slides when you see them on the market they're just flat box you can see this it's curved again this costs a lot more money to do i know airstream does that I know Phoenix Cruiser does it. They, they curve everything. This will get sucked right in and it seals up really nice. This is not a wide body motorhome. So we were just talking I and mean, we drove Nelly on the way down, 37 feet, wide body, towing, drove down to Florida. Something like this would have cut off so much time on our travels. Like, and more relaxed. <laughs> more relaxed. Like, now, when you set up, you don't have the same amount of room, but there's plenty of room in here. On this slide, you have your frameless windows. You also have the slide awning, slide topper. Now continuing down, next bay is locked. Indeed. Sorry guys. But this it's was gonna... the only one they couldn't find the key for. Of course, the one we picked. <laughs> Here's another bay, guys. So that's gonna be very similar. You can just see the storage. You're not missing much there. And then continuing down, you have your driver's side door. Of course, you will have Philip over here for your diesel. Now, everybody wants to know, everybody wants to know, you gotta say what the cargo carrying capacity is because this is on that Mercedes chassis. So the capacity for some of these not specific leisure, but some other competitors can be very low, 7,800 pounds. On this one, it is 1,107 pounds. So that is your cargo carrying capacity on here. Let's give you some more specs. The gross vehicle weight rating is 11,030 pounds. The wheelbase is 170 inches. The length, 25.1. The width is seven feet, 11 inches. Height with air conditioning, 10 feet, six inches. Interior height, 6'5". Fresh water is 25.6 gallons. Gray is 35 gallons, that's pretty good. Black, 30.6 gallons. Again, pretty good for something this size. Fuel capacity, 24.5. Propane is 15.8 gallons. Now, if you talk about MPGs, we, I've been on some of the forums, people say they regularly get 17 to 19 miles mm, per gallon that on is this. Nice. And we're gonna link, if <laughs> it's out before this a vlog coming down here, we average 6.9 gallons. <laughs> on ours. So we'll link that above if it's out. Just a couple of specs on the actual chassis. 2.0 liter turbocharged I4 diesel engine, 208 horsepower, 332 foot pounds of torque. That's the big deal. Nine speed automatic transmission. I think I said it earlier, 24.5 gallons. Now that I'm done on the outside, we're going to go on the inside. That's where the real magic is. So as much as this is equipped with, one thing that is missing is not only this one, it, it's most of them here. They have the levelers, but they don't have RV snap pad. Mm -hmm. And RV snap pad Pad makes a permanent jack pad. We actually just stayed at a harvest host that required you to have yes. snap pad, well, jack pads. Just, right. You could pull out the wood or whatever, but you had to have jack pads. A lot more places are required. Yeah, because this. you can damage, you know, pavement and other things like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. So the perks of having RV snap pads, as Izzy said, they're permanent. They're installed at all times, no taking on and off. It's going to give you increased stability for each of your landing foot. It's going to give you added protection for your jack feet from any type of bending or damage. It's going to reduce slipping and sinking on soft surfaces. If you happen to do harvest like hosts here. that have grass or here, or if there's dirt that gets soft, it's really, really helpful for that. And it can help protect from indirect lightning strikes. Now we've had the original pair of snap pads for over five years on our motorhome yeah. and, and they're still good. We had these before we had a channel yeah, they're, and they're still lasting. They're made in the USA, 100% yeah. recycled material. They always give discounts to first responders and military. However, if you use the discount code, endless. 10. you'll get 10% off of your purchase. Now you can't double dip guys. Nope, right, I know sorry. cops are cheap out there. I'm one of them. You can't double <laughs> you <dip. are. laughs> But if you, you use that discount code, you can save an extra 10% off. Guys, they're no absolutely no awesome. Brainer. Great product. We're gonna put all their information down below. Are you ready for a treat? This is beautiful. Let's go on inside, right, right when you walk in. And did you mention this you, is our favorite floor plan? I did not, but it is our favorite floor plan. So as you walk in, you're going to be greeted with some hooks here for hats, jackets, whatever. You have a handle here to, if you need some help getting in. 
couple little shelving areas so you can put you can stick an umbrella in there or anything that fits for you and then you have you see the shoes Place oh yeah shoes. little shoe area and here's your fire extinguisher for the coach and then you're going to have your light controls for the main area right here everything's at the push of a button so come on in we'll flip around and here's a little control panel and here is your solar charge controller you have truma on here your uh, inverter control everything's here your equalizers so that's all hidden nicely everything is soft close i'm going to close this actually so. now this is optioned with the dragonfly lithium and also mm -hmm. the solar package we'll talk about that with the options when we give you the msrp right right okay so let's start up front here so a little bit low so if you're tall you just got to bend down a little bit okay extremely comfortable as izzy mentioned this is on the mercedes chassis so very classy, very comfortable chassis here. You have all your integrated controls here. It's beautiful. Again, it's small. Like it just feels like you're driving a nice. This is 25 foot motorhome truck. essentially. Yeah, yeah it's great. Um, beautiful uh, screen here that has all your controls. So you see your phone, your navigation is here. You know, touch screen, radio, all that good stuff. All your settings. Okay, cup holders here radio, everything that you need in a very comfortable setting. The captain and co-captain chairs will swivel around. And right here, you'll see there's a place holder for a table. So you'll have an, an area to eat if you like. Right above that, you're going to have a large storage. You can keep anything, your extra bedding or pillows or anything, and some storage areas on the side as well. Here's your Firefly main control panel with every, you have your lights, your tank levels, everything there. Then moving in, this coach is so well lit it's beautiful light interior which we like very well lit so we'll get to the bed in a minute i'm going to take you on this side so you have these curved this kind of european look although it's canadian but <laughs> some great storage in here you have a some 110 outlets there again soft close your sound bar is in here nicely hidden yeah it is and then you have a tv on a televator so this is a manual televator so you can just gently move this down. So, and so then, if you push that all the way down, push it all the way yeah, down. Yeah, the good thing is, is that you see you have this beautiful window here. A lot of light will come in there. And just lock it in. I just okay. want to show people something. Push it all the way down. <laughs> so, okay, okay, push it the there you go. So you could also see the TV through here if you want. Right, right. So if you're sitting, it's more at eye level, which is great, however you want to use it. And then you will just unlock there, bring it back up nice and slow. You have a storage cabinet under here with some good areas to keep any items you may want to keep. And then now, this is why we love this floor plan. Your Murphy bed is here. You have two seats. You also, you're going to have a table area in here as well. So that's going to rise up. You have some cup holders there. So this is very easy to set up. All you're going to do is remove the cushions with a click of, on each side. This bed is going to unfold. So we're going to show you how we do that. And it's a large bed, which you're again, it's so Murphy beds are so great for space saving because you have this huge bed that you don't even see when it's not being utilized. So then this is what it looks like. We're not going to put this whole thing down, but just so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like lengthwise and how much it's going to fill up the coach. This is what you're looking at with the Murphy bed. Very spacious. So one other thing people might ask with the slide in, and we can't move the slides in and out for right. the show, but with the slide in, you can still fully extend this bed with it. So that's yes. a, a big, yeah. a big selling point. Right. Let's move into the kitchen area now. So you have a lot of storage space right here. And you're going to have a few drawers of varying sizes underneath. Everything guys in the leisure travel vans is extremely well made. In terms of quality, this is why they have, there's your breakers, why they have a two year wait for their RVs. It's just, it's so well made. So here's your a small fridge, and then you have your freezer down below and little pull out there. You have your microwave, this is a convection, so that's your oven as well. Now your kitchen area, your prep area, plenty of storage. So you have a ton of drawers here. They give you a built-in silverware drawer there and a number of drawers. Yes, for those of you that don't like when we show all the drawers, you can hit ahead 10 or 15 seconds. <laughs> then this is furnace. You have propane. That's a stove. <laughs> you know what I mean. So you have a propane stove here. You're not getting the induction cooktop with this. It's two burners. Domatic. You do have some little storage area back there. You can actually keep a lot of things in there. And then another little storage area right there if you want to keep sponges or any type of you know materials that you would need for your kitchen beautiful solid surface countertops here's your bowl sink a nice deep sink you don't have a sprayer here but 
nice residential faucet. Underneath, here's a little pantry area, which is good. You can fit a lot of food in there. And here's where your garbage is. So you got a nice little garbage can built in, which is great. Not a lot of storage and that's where a lot of your plumbing is. And then moving into the bathroom area. So this, this is a rear bath, very spacious guys. A lot, a lot of storage. Okay, yeah, no wet bath. Like you get in a lot of these types. And that soft clothes is beautiful. You have a number of drawers, three similar style drawers underneath, and then more under the sink, more storage area. You have plenty of outlets. I actually didn't show you when I, I just want to just flip around real quick. On both sides of the uh, this sitting area here, you have one here and one on the other side. You have um, some USB outlets and your controls for the chairs there. Small little sink here, stainless steel. And then you have right behind you, you have two deeper areas where you can keep your bathroom supplies. It's a lot of really good usable space. And it smells in here. This, this soap, the day at the beach soap. Oh God, that smells so good. It's so relaxing. Again, more of that beautiful LTV lighting that you have. You have a number of towel hooks in here on each side, so that's good. You also have a really nice privacy door, obviously, for the bathroom. Now you have radius shower, so let's take a peek in here and see how this is. Nice LED backlighting for the shower, if you want mood lighting when you shower. And then um, pretty good size. So, I mean, if you're super tall, this is gonna get in some people's way. I'm 5'9", so this, you know, I don't know if Jason would do too well in here at six five, but and you do have this, which is really good. You don't have a bench, but you have that handlebar, another little hook here to hang a washcloth or anything. And then your toilet is porcelain toilet. It is not manual, so you have your uh, automatic flush there and little window right above. And of course, all the windows have your day and night shades. And up here is this beautiful skylight, which is going to give you a lot of natural light coming in. You do have a little day shade and. There you go. So for nighttime when you're sleeping, because obviously this is your sleeping area, you want to block out that light. So that'll do that job for you. So let's talk price. All right. So this is the 2024 Unity 24 MBL. That's Murphy Bed Lounge. MSRP 201580 without the options. This has a bunch of options, mm -hmm. guys. So you have the generator. So it's a 3.6 kilowatt Onan liquid propane generator. I think you can get it in diesel also. You got the solar panels, 400 watts. You have the lithium, which is on there also alcoa wheels that's an option exterior ladder it's an option leveling jacks huge that's an option that's a 3200 mm -hmm. option you have the macerator for your black dump a couple of other things in here anyway total 220 sorry 222 seven two hundred twenty two thousand seven of course that's not the show price but right. these are in very high demand so don't expect a huge discount on these because People they're pay. backlogged. You're lucky yeah. you can find them. And they have a very right. high resale value. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because they are extremely well built. If you go on any of the forums, look up leisure travel vans, people love these things. Yeah. And there's one of the few companies out there that are consistently putting out quality products. Mm -hmm. In the comments below, guys, let us know what do you think about this unit? Do you have a leisure? Have you heard of it? What has been your feedback? If you do own one, if you like videos like this, to the left of us, we'll put our RV tours playlist, put our RV newbies playlist, and for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you on, on the, the road. road.